Hi, this is Mike from Century Security Systems, and today we're looking at our GV NVR line of product. This video demonstration will also apply to the analog systems as well. It's the exact same process. So what we're looking at is the Save as AVI button that a lot of people use to back up video. Um, now when you do the Save as AVI button, it doesn't get you all of the codecs and stuff that you may necessarily want. So it's not always the best way to go about doing it. We have other videos showing um, other options for backing up video, but this is a popular one. So I thought we would do a video on how to do it. So we're going to start by going to the video log. So video audio log is accessible by clicking on the option here or by simply pressing F10 on your keyboard. It'll take a second to load up. Once it's loaded up, this is the AVI button that I was referring to that a lot of people like to use for backing up their video rather than using the actual backup button. When you click on that button, you get a couple of options, save as AVI, advanced merge, display merging list, and merging schedule. So we're going to look at the save as AVI option. Okay, so the, the window that comes up gives you a few options. You can set your start and end times. Okay, and whether or not we're going to export it with privacy mask regions and um, the ID and password for removing privacy masks if we have enabled those. Okay, under the settings for the options, um, the one thing that we're going to want to change is the codec. If you leave it at the default GeoVision codec, any machine that you try and play this back on, it will require it to have the GeoVision codec. So we want to change it to the Windows Media Player option. Okay, you'll see when we do that, we lose the video effects settings. Okay, so we lose some options by doing that because we're not using the GeoVision codec, but it'll play on any Windows-based machine. Once we've done that, if we click on the green arrow, we can see the options that we do have. So we can specify to show the date and time on the ABI file and the position that we're going to show it in on the screen. It allows you also to set the font and the color. So we may want to make the color, for example, in white so that it shows up better on our fisheye camera. So once we've done that, we'll say OK. The audio export um, gives you some options to take some of the noise out of the background noise out of it. Uh, we don't have audio, so we're not going to worry about that. And we don't have any GPS settings. Um, if you do, though, you can enable to the GPS settings to be exported. So we're going to go back to the AVI view. I'm just going to make the file a little bit smaller so this happens quicker. And once that's done, we press OK. We're going to have this window come up, um, which is going to give us our process along here. It's going to tell us the start and end time, and then where it's saving it to. And that's all there is to it. You'll know that it's done when the blue bar is all the way across.